husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Oh my gosh! I'm so happy we're finally married after all these years! Me too! I think we should use contraceptives until we're ready to have kids though. <gasps> oh my god! Connecticut's here! Actually, in March of 1879, we passed a law that criminalized the encouragement or use of birth control. So, ha! Huh. What? That's not fair! No. Ready? Griswold! There's no way! Banning contraception goes against marriage rights which are protected in the Constitution. I'm taking this to court. Fine, but only because I'm sure they'll take my side. That's it. Hello, gentlemen. I'm with the Supreme Court. You may both state your case. Connecticut, you go first. My state has recently passed a law that disabled the use of any drug, medical device, or other device furthering contraception. I tried to point this out at a wedding in state, and this man, Griswold, walked in acting like he knows everything and tried to tell me that my law wasn't accurate. That's because it isn't. A law that doesn't allow people to use contraceptives violates marital re relations, privacy, which is against the Constitution. This also applies to unmarried couples because it works irrational discrimination either way. I'm sorry, Connecticut, but I'm gonna have to side with Griswold on this one. Thanks to the Ninth Amendment, the enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. This includes presumption of innocence in criminal cases, the right to travel the country, the right to privacy, most basic and security and safety rights, rights unlisted in the Constitution, freedom of expression, and more. Yes, I knew it. Take that, Connecticut. Now you can't have your law against contraceptives. That's impossible. Whatever, Griswold. Have it your way. Okay, ready? Guys, guess what? I went against the state of Connecticut in court, and because of the Ninth Amendment, I was able to get the law revoked. Thank you so much! That's awesome! I love the Ninth Amendment. <laughs>